The UNI Panthers fell to Eastern Washington 30-34 on the road. And talking defense now, Coach, uh, defense was able to come up with some turnovers. Uh, Charles Brown, another interception for him. That wide receiver turned cornerback. Uh, he's producing on the other side of the football. He played, it was a great play too. He, he had his guys covered, came off his coverage to intercept the football. So outstanding job by him. And then later on, Carter Scholl got an intercept as well. How important is that? The defense setting up the offense with a short field. Well, that was part of it too, because we got a short field. We're sitting on the 30 yard line. We didn't get any points that one because we missed the field goal. So that's where I go back to the special teams. You know, we had, we had a, game-breaking moment, a momentum swinger on the road, and we didn't capitalize. You mentioned Carter Schultz with his interception, but his three and a half tackles for a loss gives him 44 on his career. That sets a UNI record for tackles for a loss in a career, breaking James Ruffin's record. Uh, Ruffin a good player, but uh, Carter Schultz right up there in that category. Well, it's quite a record to break. James was a great player for us, James Ruffin, and uh, Carter is as well. So, you know, we've, we've been very fortunate to have the kind of players that we've had these past few years, and you know, the quality of play and the, and the level of play is outstanding. The young man comes from a small school, just a lot of drive and determination in Carter, isn't there? Well, I tell you what, all these guys that are playing in the NFL today, Carter has emulates a lot of those in the past, and I'd say they got great work ethic, great desire, great passion for the game, and they work as hard at practice as they do on Saturday. So all those have the same denominator, and he is a part of that group that is being very successful on Sunday right now. Coach, in that game against Eastern Washington, A.J. Allen led your team with 12 tackles, just a sophomore, playing a solid linebacker spot. He's, play he's playing good football right now for us. He's playing that rover safety for us and did a nice job. And the last two weeks with all the throwing that we've been up against and all the, the, the empty spread offense uh, has, has allowed him to be in a position to make some plays. Seth Thomas, uh, a redshirt freshman, he had some big tackles in the backfield. He's one of those new names defensively that's been really solid here in 2016. Well, he stepped up. It's his time. These last three games have been good for him, and now this open date will be huge for him because I think everybody thinks you get better from the first to the second game. I think you get better during the open date. Take your experiences of the first three, get them in practice, and define those things that are good and bad. Correct them. And then and, and, and get them to understand how to do it right and wrong so they can go out the rest of the season and really be productive for us. Coach, uh, quick comment, special teams, uh, Matt Easley able to get a couple uh, of field goals, uh, especially late that one, uh, to take the lead. First big pressure kick uh, for Matt, I would say, in his career. Yeah, that was a big kick. I mean, it was with the wind and that type of thing, but it's still the, the distance and the accuracy is what mattered on that kick. And, and he hit a nice ball under pressure and did a great job. All right, more with head coach Mark Farley as we come back and talk about the Saturday off the Panthers will have. This is Panther Sports Talk.